Hi, I'm Willie T. Ten, a proud Lasalai, graduate of Chemical Engineering, Engbach 85. I'm currently the president of Odhub Group. Please like my video and uh, subscribe to Animal Magazine. Hi, I'm here with uh, Willie Titen, one of the people that I deeply respect. And we're here to talk about the Automotive Dealers Association and how they are coping with the COVID. Hi, Willie, how are you? Good, good, good. Well, this COVID crisis, as uh, pan COVID, COVID pandemic, has hit a lot of people. Whether you are in the food industry, you're in the service industry, and more so in the automotive industry. Tell us about how, how the Philippine Automotive Dealers Association is coping with the, with the present crisis. Um, yeah, this, this is uh, an eye-opener for the automotive industry. Actually, not only the automotive industry, but I think uh, a lot of industries have, have been uh, deeply affected by, by this pandemic. And uh, it makes us realize that, you know, that uh, we cannot control what's going to happen in the future. As automotive dealers, uh, this is uh, a particular time when we uh, group together, we discuss things more, we share our experiences, and uh, find ways to, to, to survive this uh, crisis. And, and uh, a lot of cost-cutting, a lot of uh, re-evaluation of, of our uh, strategies, and, and overall, because uh, it has affected the industry, we're here just to survive this, this particular year and hope that the vaccine will come out next year so that we can get back on our feet and, and come back strong. Right now, um, what we do is just keep selling whatever is the demand of, of, of customers. Our biggest uh, challenge would be the banks because they're, uh, they're very conservative, which is very understandable. But we still hope that the banks will be more aggressive in terms of approving uh, loan applications. And uh, whatever we sell now, uh, if we can break even, that would be fine already just to go through this, this uh, pandemic. Even after sales, no? uh, because if people uh, go out less, they do not go to the uh, dealership for servicing of their cars. No? Yes, oh. every, every 5,000, right? Yeah, so, some, some brands are 5,000, some brands are every 10,000. So, sobrang konti lang ang nagpapa service right now. Because uh, actually, it's every 10,000 or 6 months. But, you know, we're still educating the Filipinos that it's not just the mileage, it's also the time. Even if you don't use the car, you need to have it serviced every six months, no? Because quality will go down even if you don't use the, the vehicle. So we had to uh, re-educate our customers and tell them that you, you still need to bring your car to the dealership even if you don't use it. Uh, as far as car sales is concerned, uh, if you notice, there's a lot of sale right now because the inventory is quite high and... and uh, Inventory cost is very, very expensive, not only in terms of money, but also warehouse space. So, so everything is a domino effect. No? So we really need to, to plan properly. Uh, different brands have different strategies. Uh, you even hear of buy one, take one, some of them huge discounts and everything else. So, so right now, you have to imagine a lot of... Uh, creative uh, discounting and marketing uh, strategies just to get people to consider buying a car. So it, now is a good time to buy a car if you have some uh, extra money lying around. Exactly. No? You, you know, discounts have never heard of since the time I started 21 years ago. Discounts for this particular year is, is unheard of in the past 20 years. No? If you have the, the liquidity and the funds, now is the perfect time to buy a car. Going back to the industry, you mentioned that a lot of a lot of the car dealers are are cost cutting. Has there been some dealership that have totally closed their branches? Yes, unfortunately, there are dealers who have closed, uh, and and uh, 
and some of them are even the big players, uh, not because they they're gonna go bankrupt, but because they felt that uh, the pandemic is gonna last, and some of them uh, feel that it doesn't make sense to to have so many branches, so they reduced the number of dealerships because a lot of uh, transactions now are online. So if you have 10 dealerships of one brand, you might have to reconsider maybe reducing the number of dealerships uh, because the sales would be online anyway. Less people come to the showroom, more, more and more people are now going online. Now let's, let's talk about briefly about AutoHub. AutoHub is like a flagship company that has a lot of brands. Can you tell our our viewers, what are the brands that uh, AutoHub carry? Oh, thank you for those nice words, Albert. Uh, um, AutoHub is a, a, a group of different brands, no? uh, as you say, multi-brand dealer, de dealer group. And uh, we have uh, brands from the highest end to the lowest end. No? We have distributorships as well as dealerships as well. Uh, we're, we're the distributor of Rolls-Royce, Lotus, Mini, even two wheels like Vespa. And soon uh, we're launching Triumph, also the Piaggio Ape, which is the modern tricycle as I say it, because uh, that I believe would be the next generation uh, tricycles uh, with Euro 4 and, 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 and uh, better uh, legroom, better efficiency, more, more good looking uh, a vehicle. Uh, we also have uh, dealerships like Ford, Nissan, Hyundai, Mazda, and, and of course, uh, uh, Photon and other Chinese brands like Geely, MG, Cherry, and soon Chang'an, and, and, and many more brands. No? Uh, and aside from the, 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 the different brands that we have, we also have uh, allied services related to the automotive industry. We have our next hub, which uh, repairs uh, cars, uh, especially those who do not bring their cars to the dealerships anymore. Uh, the older cars, we can service them as well through our next hub. We have a centralized body and paint shop we call Paint Hub. Even during this pandemic, uh, uh, technicians are very hard to hire because most of them go abroad. So we have our own school, which we call the AutoHub Institute of Technology or AIT. We're getting a lot of students now and training them for the future. Uh, that's nice. I never heard about that AIT. Yeah. So how do you qualify? Uh, are these out of school kids or do they have to be college graduates? No, actually, as long as they are high school graduates, it's good enough. Uh, it's like a college course for them or a vac vocational course. Uh, we started it uh, getting students from our own uh, employees, uh, their, their, their siblings or their, their children. Uh, and also we opened up to, to people who wants to venture into the automotive industry. And we have a lot of uh, students uh, that are uh, that have scholarships with us. A lot of them are, are scholars actually. So we don't, we don't only offer them education, but actually a career because after they, they uh, finish uh, school with us, we hire them as well if they want to work with us. No? And, and uh, in the future, we would like to be part of uh, uh, the system wherein we can even send them abroad uh, so that uh, if they want to work abroad, so it's it's like a, a medical school in a hospital like La Salle in uh, Las Marinas, Las Marinas yes. uh, where where you have a, a school for, for doctors, medicine yeah. and doctors and, and, and nurses and then uh, they can work in a in a hospital nearby, which is I think owned by La Salle as well. No? That's right. So so the same thing with us. Uh, we have different brands of dealerships. Uh, they get to study uh, and our school is more on practical side not all the libro libro lang no that's so right oh, tama. a lot of practice is being done in the dealerships as well so that's one of our, our corporate social responsibility in auto hub group and, and and we're very proud of that and we have a lot of graduates already working with us thank you very much willie um we are all hopeful that this pandemic will end soon. Yeah. We are all hopeful that the economy turns around and starts moving forward. Um, 
um, final message to our uh, viewers and to the customers of AutoHub? Uh, to our uh, customers, uh, thank you for supporting us uh, for the last 21 years. Uh, we're truly, truly grateful. Without you, we won't be where we are right now. Um, rest assured that AutoHub Group will continue to expand. Uh, we might have slowed down a little because of this pandemic, but right. Uh, but uh, even even during these times, we're looking at different brands, and, and uh, very soon we will be announcing uh, future brands we will be uh, uh, selling under the AutoHub Group, and, and and that will be very soon. Maybe in, in early uh, 2021, we will have. A, uh, additional brands, uh, which is going to excite all of us. And to all those who have not uh, done any business with AutoHub Group, please uh, try to consider us, uh, especially to our Lasalite friends here. Uh, if you can uh, uh, consider buying your next vehicle from AutoHub Group, we'd truly appreciate it. And you can experience the, the AutoHub way of, of uh, delighting customers. So uh, again, Albert, thank you so much for for. Thank you, man. Thank you, Animo Lasal. Animo Lasal, <laughs> and, and uh, thank you, and and uh, I hope uh, everybody is safe, and uh, let's hope the vaccine comes out very soon. Even if it's the new normal, everybody goes back to business, and everybody would would uh, would be uh, very uh, vibrant and happy again. Thank you.